Hey guys, what's up? It's Allie here, and in today's video, I thought I would share with you um, some of my items from my latest tech haul that I just did in preparation for my show this weekend. Um, so without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, so the first place I went to was Dover Saddlery. Um, I just went to my local Dover and got a couple of things while I was there. Um, I had to return one item, so that's um, kind of why I was going up there anyway. Um, and I was trying to check and see if they had something, but they didn't. Um, so the first, I guess, couple items I got were these um, ProBios um, gels. Um, Chuck's been kind of having some loose stool at some of the horse shows, and I figured I would give this stuff a shot and see if it's actually any good. Um, it's supposed to be like a gel that you insert in their mouth, and supposedly it gives them like probiotics and stuff, so it helps kind of like their stomach if it's upset. So I figured I would try this and see if it works. Um, if not, just won't buy it again. So. They had a couple there, so I got four since I'm planning on doing a couple shows. Um, probably give it to him like Friday night when we leave, and then Saturday and Sunday at the show. So, I don't know, we'll try it out this weekend and see how it goes. Next item I got was this uh, Quick Black um, Dark Intensifying Shampoo. Um, it's basically just kind of for his legs and um, maybe I might use it on his body. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I accidentally spilled the shampoo that I did have for him, so I don't have any, so I needed some. So that's what this is for. And then to go along with that, I got another shampoo, and this is one I've used before and I love, and it's this Car Day and Martin Gallup Color Enhancing Shampoo and it's for bay horses. Um, I've used this before and I've really liked it. Um, Dover's like the only place I know that sells it, so that's why I got it there. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to use these two together, so we'll see how that goes. All right, so the next place that I went to was a local tax store in my town. Um, so I will show you guys what I got there. Um, first thing I got was this, um, it's called Shapely's Show Touch-Up. It's a color enhancer in the color black. Um, I got this to try because I was looking for a product to see if it would cover up bite marks and kick marks because Chuck kind of plays rough out in the field. I mean, he's not like crazy bucking, kicking or anything. Him and some of the other geldings just like to bite each other and you know so I figured this would be good to kind of touch up some of the blemishes he has um, we'll see it's black so I mean he's kind of a dark bay I mean I don't know if it'll actually like cover it up or make it look worse but I'll try it out Thursday before I leave and see if it looks good or not if not I guess I'll just keep it around but hopefully it works um, Kind of nervous never used it but oh well we'll give it a shot uh next thing i got kind of was for me i didn't really need it but i saw it and i was like i had to have it it's just this cute little scarf and it's actually baker brand which i thought was cute um so it's this baker scarf and it's actually really thick like this doesn't like unravel like this is the whole scarf um, but I saw it on one of the mannequins because, um, as you know, fall's coming up, and I was like, dang, that's cute. So I stole it off the mannequin because it looked like it was the only one they had in the store, so I bought it. And it has, like, the little Baker logo, and it's got, like, this cute little fringe. My dog's trying to eat the fringe. <laughs> um, but it's just so cute, and I figured it would look really cute, um, for horse shows in the winter time or just going out with friends so you know gotta have that um it was a little bit more money than i wanted to spend on a scarf but it's because of the baker branding is why it's why it's expensive but 
it looks good and it's it's so cute I'm excited to wear it um, let's see what else we got in here next thing I got was a lead rope for shows um, this is just the Perry's nylon lead snap um, I got this because um, my current lead rope is like one of the which what is it the cotton ones that's kind of like braided and my problem is is the tie system I have for my trailer is not ideal like it's it slips through like so when I would tie my horse like the tie would like get really loose so this will prevent that so this is just a new new lead rope um, I'm not a huge fan of these lead ropes I don't know I just don't like the texture but I guess it's safer for hauling so this will be what I use for horse shows so all right and then the next item in here that I have is a new girth for shows um, it's by the brand um, Ledia, and it is their um, memory foam click girth, and it's the click girth because it has these rolled buckles and it snaps in place. It doesn't just dangle like a typical girth does. Um, I already had a girth that I had been using for shows. It was like a fuzzy girth, but it was starting to get a little dirty for shows. I mean, it would probably be fine for schooling at home, but I mostly school my dressage saddle at home, so I don't really have a use for the other girth, so I would, I'd been using that for shows, but um, I wanted something a little bit nicer, I guess. Um, and they only had a couple options there. They only had this girth. Um, the professional's choice one or the equifit one um i didn't like the equifit one because the material on the inside was like very like rough feeling i'm sure it would like thin out over time but it wasn't very comfortable i would think for a horse and then the professional's choice one was nice too but i didn't like how the, the material here was like very grippy feeling i feel like my horse wouldn't like it I'm sure it keeps your saddle in place and everything, but I don't really have to worry about that too much. But yeah, so I just went with this one and it's really cute. Um, but the main reason I went with it is because this inside part is nice. And if you look, it's memory foam here um, and it's machine washable too. So if, in case like I need to, um, I can wash it. Um, but it's really nice and classy looking. Um, I really liked the double elastic on both sides. Um, and I liked the hardware too. Um, and this was the cheapest, cheaper of the three girths too, which I liked. So um, yeah, I, as you can see, it's pretty big. I got a 56 because my horse is huge. Um, well, he's not fat, but he's 17 hands, so he needs a big girth. Um, so I got him that, so hopefully this will be really nice for shows, um, and I'm hoping he likes it. I, I really like it so far, so we'll see. And then the last thing I got was a new show pad. Um, I didn't really need the show pad, um... It was, this is just kind of going to be like a backup one for me, but, um, it's both sides here. Um, this one is by the brand, um, Shires and it is the Supa fleece lined shaped pad. And I got it in the size 17, 17 and a half because that's the size my saddle is. Um, so yeah, I like this pad because... They didn't have many there in stock, unfortunately. Um, I kind of just needed something for a backup as like a nicer pad. I have kind of like a couple of those cheaper-ish schooling pads, but I thought it was time for me to upgrade those. 
Um, I also have an Eco Gold pad that I really like, but sometimes by the second day it's kind of dirty and I would rather have something nice and clean um, for day two or even the first day. Um, so I wanted to get something as like a backup. So I went ahead and got this. Um, it's really nice. It has like the fleece here. This isn't sheepskin. I know it looks like sheepskin, but it's not. Um, it has the billet straps. I'm probably gonna just cut these off assuming it fits my saddle. And then it has a girth loop too. And this part here is like, like kind of like a, I don't know what type of material this is, but it's not fleecy as much here, which is nice because usually this part of the saddle is where my boots like make it black, which I hate because I can never get the stain out. Like I try so hard and it's like, I can't get the stain out, but anyway. Um, my other pad doesn't have girth loops, so I'm excited that this one does too, so it keeps the saddle more in place. And then the underneath part of the saddle, it's just the fleece, which I was a little concerned with, but um, after kind of looking at it more, um, it's not going to be as bad, as big of an issue. Um, someone at the store, like, they told me that their friend shows A-rated hunters and she uses this pad and um, she said it's not had an issue with her horse. Um, and it's machine washable too because if I had this in sheepskin, I probably couldn't machine wash it. So yeah, so now I have two show pads. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah. All right, that is it for my tag haul. I know it was kind of like a short and sweet tag haul, but I didn't really need to buy much stuff. I already had pretty much everything, so that's why I didn't really um, buy it, buy anything else. Um, I'm really excited for the show this weekend, and I have a ton of shows coming up, so stay tuned for that. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thanks, bye.